I'm going to be doing a recase on this paperback book, replacing the paperback cover with a hard cover. It's important that you watch my end sheet video first before doing the recasing. I've cut two acid-free book boards for the front and back cover. I figured out the measurements by measuring the text block and subtracting 3 millimeters from the width and adding 8 millimeters to the height. Your resulting book board should be 3 millimeters more narrow than the text block and 8 millimeters taller than the text block. In the case of this book, the original height was 228 millimeters and I cut the boards to be 236 and the original width was 150 millimeters and I cut the boards to be 147 millimeters. I'm now sanding the edges of my book boards. Oftentimes when you cut them, there's a little bit of a ridge that sticks up along the edges, and so I'm sanding it so that they're smooth all the way around. Now I'm going to measure and cut my spine board. I use a piece of scrap paper to measure the spine. I do this because if the spine is rounded, it's easier to wrap a piece of paper around it than a ruler. I have some acid-free cardstock, and I'm going to cut with the grain direction. So I measure in two spots the width of my spine, and then cut it. Now I use the book boards to determine the height of my spine board and cut that to height. Now I'm going to use my ruler to find the center of my spine board. I'm also going to find the center and mark it on my book cloth. I'm drawing a line all the way down the center of my book cloth that I will line my spine board up with. Make sure you're gluing the side that does not have your center marks on it. And 
and then I'm going to put it under weights for a couple minutes. Now I'm going to measure my hinge area. I want it to be six millimeters out from the side, each side of the spine board. So I start at the bottom, measure six millimeters out from the edge of the spine board. Then measuring the top six millimeters out from each edge. Now I'm going to mark a line at the bottom where the spine board is so that I know where to line my book boards up with. You want to make sure you have a nice even coat of PVA over your book board. I'm using a combination of PVA and methyl cellulose. You want to make sure the whole thing is covered in glue uh, but that it's not too thick, just a nice even coating all over. Just like with paper, you want to always glue in the direction of the grain to prevent warpage. Now I line my board up with that bottom mark and the two six millimeter marks. And then put it under weights just for a minute. While my first board is sitting under weights, I glue up my second board for the other side. I put the weights on that board and leave. After letting it sit under weights, I remove the weights and I flip it and use my bone folder to smooth down the fabric. Make sure there's no air bubbles in it. It only needs to sit under weight for a minute or two. Later you're going to put it in the book press. After smoothing all the fabric down, I'm going to flip it over and use a paper towel to clean up any glue that may have seeped out around the edges. Now I'm going to cut my headbands to length, so they should be the width of the spine board, and I'm going to glue them down at the top and bottom of the spine board. So I just put a little dab of glue at each end and I roll my cord back and forth a little bit in the glue. Now I'm going to measure the edges of my fabric and cut them down. I want it to be one inch all the way around. So I measure one inch out from the book boards and then cut the fabric. And I do that for all four edges. After trimming all of the edges, I'm going to cut the corners and I'm cutting them so they're about a quarter of an inch away from the corner of the book board. So that distance from the corner of the book board to the cut edge should be about a quarter of an inch. I begin by gluing both of the long edges down first.
making sure it's very tight against the edge of the book boards. I'm going to use my bone folder working from the outside towards the inside and cleaning up any glue that squishes out. Now I'm going to tuck that very edge on the corner down a little bit. It's important that you tuck it in a little, otherwise you'll have fabric sticking out. So I kind of grab the upper edge and I pull it down a little. Now I've done the other edge and I'm going to reinforce those corners with my bone folder. And now I'm going to glue up the short ends. making sure it's very tight against that edge and pulling it down. Always working from the outside to the inside. Put it under weight for just a minute. Now I'm going to define the folds right by the spine board edge. Not the book board edge, but the spine board edge. At this point, you glue it into the case just like you would if you're doing an end sheet replacement. If you watch my video on end sheets, I go into more detail about how to do this. Once you have it, the case glued in, once you have it glued into the case, define your hinge area and put rods on the hinge before putting it in the book press. Knitting needles also work well for this. Here we have the finished book after it's been in the book press for a couple hours.